Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, I'll show you how to generate masks using smart vectors inside of Nuke X. So without wasting any time, let's get started. <laughs> So guys, right now we're in Nuke version 12.1 and uh, this is a basic footage. If you want this footage, link is in description box below. Just go and download it. It's completely free. Uh, so now for this, you need obviously a smart vector node. And if you don't familiar with smart vector or vector distort node and all, you should check this amazing videos. Link is in description box below or you can click this I button as well. Okay, so I'm just taking a smart vector node by pressing tab. Let's take a smart vector and something like this. And here is like called mat and the source. So obviously the source pipe should connect with this. So let's connect the source pipe, something like that. Now press one, you can see nothing is visible here. But when you go here from smart vector, you can exactly see something. This is a smart vector. And now if your system is not good enough, you should export this smart vector or you can use directly from here because in updated version, you no need to render it or you do not need to export your smart vector data. You just directly use it from here. Now after select this one, we need another node called vector distort. But before doing that, I just want to rotoscope this area for only one frame. In my case, I'm taking 120 frame and I'm, I'm taking a roto node by pressing O on my keyboard and then just connect it something like that. And then simply you just start drawing your shapes, something like that. So now you can see the shapes are completely done. And now the next step is called a vector distort node. So by pressing tab, you can take a vector distort node, something like that. And after that, you see this source and smart vector. So obviously the smart vector pipe should connect with this one and the source pipe will connect to this one. Now the next most important step, when you double click on this vector distort, you can see one option is coming here like reference frame. So the reference frame should be your basic frame where you draw these uh, shapes. So my frame is like 120, so I'm click this set to current frame. Now to see how exactly the alpha is look like, press A on your keyboard. Now this is your alpha. So now connect with this one, and I'm just pressing Q to turn off these shapes. And now when you play this, you can see the alpha is moving across with this input. The input is moving in left to right direction or any kind of shakes, it can be there. Now the alpha is tracked well by using this vector distort or smart vector node. Now go to the first frame or 120 number frame, any number of frame. Now how you can use this to mask or something like that. So I'm taking a grade node by pressing G and connect with this source pipe here and something like that and by pressing one. Now if you want, you can do many things like color corrections, something like if you want to change the screen color to red or blue, something like that. Now you have to animate this or whatever you want to use, you can do. So guys, now you can see I already animated some colors flickering and all. Now to make this happening in a really good way, you just can see this mask option is here. So just connect this mask option to this vector distort. So now what happened, only this area is masked out. Now when you play this, you can see the magic happening in front of your screen. So guys, this is a basic simple trick which can reduce your rotoscoping task by using simple smart vector and vector distort node. And I hope you really enjoyed this sweet simple tutorial. And if you're still not follow us on our social media handles like Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter, you should follow that. And guys, please like or you can dislike as well. And before leaving this video, you just have to press the subscribe button. Also press the bell button for more notifications. And guys, I will see you in my next video. Till then, have fun, stay healthy, keep rocking, VFX World.